parents, helping pay for a college degree can be challenging. Usually the cheapest route is the most appealing one. That's right, but for graduating seniors in five Mississippi counties, that financial burden is something parents won't have to worry about. Our Parker King joins us at the studio with more on the story of the Sumner Grant. Andrea and Joey, those five counties are Atala, Carroll, Choctaw, Montgomery, and Webster counties. Tuition to certain in-state school is almost all but paid for thanks to one man's determination in the 70s, E.H. Sumner. He had a, a, a worker who was making a good wage with him, and he came to him at the end of the summer and said, uh, Mr. Sumner, I'm not going back to school. And he said, why? He said, because I'm making too much money with you. And he said, you're fired. Go to school. Uh, and he, I think he paid for his school and then, and, and that kind of perpetuated the whole deal. More than 40 years later, thousands owe their chance at higher education to E.H. Sumner and his fund, the Sumner Grant. It's very inspiring uh, to see what he's done. Uh, again, we went over the numbers earlier. It's, I mean, it's given away a, over $110 million. Harry Sumner is E.H. Sumner's grandnephew and says his uncle and aunt put the family's 19,000 acres of timberland in a trust back in 1977. That land was spread across the five counties the grant now supports. Montgomery, Carroll, uh, Choctaw, Atala. And Webster. And in those five counties, everyone knows about the Sumner Grant. Well, it gives them um, reassurance that if they want to attend college, that just a financial burden alone will not hold them back. Sue Ann Boatman doesn't speak on this from an observer standpoint. She's a 94 graduate of Eupora High School and received the Sumner Grant to attend Mississippi State the following year. I was relieved because it also gave me money to help maybe assist with books and other costs that normally would have been out of pocket. Because she came back to Eupora, Boatman's daughter, now a senior at Eupora, will receive the same grant, along with every other senior from the five counties who apply to Ole Miss, Holmes, Millsaps, UMMC, or Mississippi State. With the rate the fund grows every year, Sumner says students will continue to attend these schools with a financial burden lifted. If laws and markets uh, continue to uh, do what they should do, it, it'll be, you know, forever. The fund is only used for fall and spring semesters, so no summer classes. Being the grant's lawyer, Sumner is also the one who receives the applications and says every year he receives thousands, thousands, getting a chance at a better education.